Madeline and George. The biggest challenge standing in most people's way is themselves. Glenn Arcaro. All money really is, is energy. Cameron and I started Project AWOL as an alternative to the education system. Oh, Project AWOL really helps people to structure their life. Welcome to Thailand! Eight projects, each week, dropped in a laptop lifestyle to experience a life without a boss or a dress code. Even if they don't plan on going into entrepreneurship, they should be using the five-jar system. To discover the ins and outs of an online income to live another way of life. If a 19-year-old kid could take this information and achieve this result, what could they do with it? I'll be honest with you, this here has been one of the best things that have ever crossed my life cycle. So Reggie's brand new to everything we're doing here, brand new to the online space. He's ready to learn, he's gonna have a wicked time, and the guy's super outgoing. I just wanted to say one thing before we continue on and we join to our dinner. Today is actually about the education jar. Today, what we're also gonna do is we're gonna go into detail about what another way of life means to you, right? All of you, we gave you in that instructions today on to write down what another way of life means to you. Did you all do that? Okay, great. So what we're gonna do after we eat is we're gonna work with you individually. We're gonna be putting you on the spot a little bit and we're gonna talk to you about what another way of life means to you. So eat now but be prepared to be put on the spot. We created something called the AWOL panel because we wanted the opportunity to actually put everybody on the spot. Really just showing people how they can be more of themselves, how they can do what they love, and really just be able to live their passion and how to use the skill set of internet marketing in order to do that. What's going on, Aaron? What's up, buddy? How you doing? Aaron, how's it going? Good. So, Aaron, what, what are you really hoping to get out of this week? The experience was a little nerve-wracking. And I mean, you have no idea what they're going to throw at you for questions or, you know, anything like that. Why are you here with Project AWOL? What do you, what do you expect to be receiving from your experience here? And I know that if I can just be around this community of entrepreneurs all headed in the same direction, I can take out those little nuggets of gold to get where I want to go and to move my business forward uh, in the future. How do you feel that you can now affect someone in a positive way? The most powerful gift that you can give someone is the power to dream. I mean, it's possible for anyone to basically get to where they want to go in life. And it's, it's really that simple. And all you have to do is just believe that you can do it and believe in yourself. Tanner's a young guy. He's been really successful in the real estate industry up until now. And this is his first time coming into the online space. I think his biggest challenge is just really getting focused because he's already got the right intentions. He's looking at helping people. I'm really excited at seeing where he's going to take this. So yesterday we had you write down what another way of life means to you. What would you put in your homework? Well, another way of life means to me that I'm able to design my lifestyle. And being able to design my lifestyle means I'm being total control of my freedom, total control of my time, I'm not having to um, wake up to alarm clock and just be completely free. So one of the things that um, I learned from speaking with Cam Glenn in Dakota was how simple and how easy this is. And I guess that's something I also learned about myself that is by putting up the roadblocks in my own way that um, I'm stopping this from being easy. This really is just the start and from what we've been seeing over the last couple weeks is when people come in here what their initial intentions are, I've been completely destroyed and demolished when they actually see what's possible with the business, when they see the numbers. The truth is this week, it's just the beginning. I'm looking forward to seeing how Lindy does this week. You know, she's brand new to the industry and that can be a really, really big advantage. Knackers. What's up, buddy? Hey, uh, Knackers. How's it going? Uh, man, as we're as we're you know just getting into this, I'm 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 feeling a kind of a combination of anxiety and like extreme excitement. So since we've gone through our education jar today and we really broke down really just some inner workings of our business, how we've been working with our clients and everything that we've done, do you really see what's possible now? You basically give people the ultimate result, which is um, a customer, and then a process to you know take that customer through you know, a process themselves where they, they can, you know, achieve whatever end is, it is that they want, whatever their, you know, the lifestyle they desire, the, the other way of life that they want, so. How do you feel that the experience you've had in the past that you can bring in into the online space and help other people? Well, I had, I would say, quite a bit of failure um, in leading up to, you know, in this industry, and I think um, just having gone through all of that failure, I have a lot of input I can give to anybody in the business to kind of uh, shorten the learning curve. It's really valuable and it's really powerful. I mean, wisdom comes from two places, mistakes and mentors. And all of the, all the mistakes you've made in the past are, are definitely really valuable. 
Adam Nackers is a great guy. Honestly, I don't really think he understands what he's capable of yet. He's got a lot in him, he's got a lot of talent, a lot of experience, and he just hasn't really broken through in his business. And I'm really excited to see what this week's gonna do for him. Hey, Krista. Hey. How are you? Great. I'm a little bit nervous because I don't like surprise questions, but something I gotta do to be part of the experience. What does the future look like for Crystal Curtis? I mean, what do the next 12 months look like for what, what you're creating? Um, that's a good question. Crystal's one of the most unique marketers I know. She's actually really creative and she's a multiple six-figure earner already in the industry. The truth is it doesn't matter who you are, what you're into, what you're all about, your religious background, your political beliefs, it really doesn't matter at all. The more you put yourself out there, there is an audience for it. If you start educating yourself, you stop making money and you stop growing as an individual, your business will stop growing and you will reach a plateau. What exactly does another way of life mean to you? Meaning, you're waking up with your wife, where are you at? What does it feel like? What does it smell like? Okay. What does it taste like? What should, what's the day like? Does that make sense? Absolutely. I just want you to get a lot more, a lot more clear on mm -hmm. what that is. Okay. Because that will, that will really, really bring out exactly what it is that you have to do in order to create that. While I'm here, I, I really want to personally grow myself and take things to new heights. Uh, just break down the barriers of everything I thought possible. So enjoy the week, enjoy the view, go do your homework tonight, and uh, appreciate you, man. Appreciate you guys. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Thanks, buddy. All right. My experience of the panel was, was a bit eye-opening. I want to be able to take advantage of what's there and, and to um, be able to inspire others. So you and James got together last week and you said that you guys really talked about your strengths. It's been really awesome seeing you guys grow. I mean, it's, I'm really excited to have you here for a second week. I mean, it just shows your guys' commitment to, to your business and to your lives together. Knowing that you can create another way of life for yourself, knowing where you came from, what does that mean to you and your family? It means being able to erase the worry from my mom's eyes. It was actually relieving because I being able to identify that emotion for real without restricting it just allows me to, it, it was the breakthrough that I really needed in order to take the next step. That's where your power really is. And that's where your focus needs to be on a daily basis with everything that you do. I can already tell that that, that is what you're all about. I mean, that is your MO. And I love it. During my second panel interview, the boys were talking to me about how I'm going to integrate my business with Sonia and how things have developed since we've been here. And obviously she's really blossomed into supporting our business. It's, uh, I'm getting a much bigger perception of what's actually possible here. I think this could be you know, a much larger vision, a much larger picture than I ever thought possible. Hey Dana. How do you feel that being here for this week is really gonna change your business and it's really gonna impact your vision for the future. It was a vital piece of my growth. I mean, it had to happen. And, and the minute it was announced, I'm like, I'm going. It's just it's like, there's no question. Knock out that perfect day and really own that process and what that looks like because then you could actually impart that information to other people. You know, Dana's coming out here as somebody who recently stepped into a role of leadership. She recently started getting a lot of sales in her business and her biggest challenge, I would say, is just understanding that she already is successful and being able to carry that energy of, of success further into what she's doing. What's going on, Reggie? This week, everyone has a lot of experience, except for one person, and that's Reggie. I don't think he really knew what to expect and he really seemed really reserved at first. I gotta ask this, I've never actually asked anybody before, but what's it like for you having mentors that are, that are so young? This style of education, I have to be very humble. I mean, this is new money. This is the 21st century, and what better way to learn how to grow and go? Why not let an old man go ahead and learn some new things? I went in front of the panel, I was at a position of, uh, excitement, if you would, but I felt very comfortable. I felt sure of myself in being able to answer questions on the fly. These guys have no idea what they're in store for tomorrow. <laughs> no. Not one. No. Not a clue. <laughs> it's going to be fun, man. Let's get out of here. Let's go in the pool. That's the power of the panel, is the clarity of your vision. 
on the next episode of Project AWOL. All right, today our multi boxing training is all about the business job. As soon as I knew that we were going uh, Muay Thai fighting for the day, I was very nervous. Guys, not only have we trained Muay Thai, but tonight we're gonna go to the fights. Yeah! This guy is crazy. Everything we do here at Project Day Wall is for a reason.